last uh, 15 years uh, made a boost with their quality and products what they uh, produce over there. So Turkey is a very uh, uh, competitive market. DMT started in 2000-2001, you're getting bigger. And I said to uh, Pete, I said, uh, I see possibilities in Turkey and because there is a big uh, shipbuilding market, uh, a lot of shipyards. So I want to uh, see if we can do there uh, also some sales. Uh, Peter, has, of course, directly agreed. So from 2001, I was visiting quite regular with, uh, to visit the shipyards with and some agents uh, to try to uh, make some business there. The DM team should be very lucky that we met this guy in 2009, that he's walking in our uh, booth in the airport in Rotterdam and say, well, here I am. I was a bit suspicious beginning meeting Livia and the Romanian friend and the company. It was really surprising that he coming there. I just see him still coming there with his western hat and his uh, in his raincoat and I said uh, and laughing. I, uh, you are still looking for an agent? And I was looking to say, uh, you are joking, eh? Those kinds of things you have from the moment that you see somebody. It feels good. Eh? Uh, the most of the time it is good. It hasn't been easy uh, to, for DMT to give a chance on a Turkish company to invest both financially and at this point emotionally, intelligent-wise. And um, it's so satisfying to see it pay back. When I went to Europort, when I see the stand of DMT, which was really a different style of stand, uh, crowded with many people, a lot of customers, a lot of smiling face. And there I met Mr. Andre Schelling, a smiling guy. I think he served me very good uh, red wine and uh, these delicious Dutch cheese. Before the Europe was uh, finished, we were already agreed to start the corporation. <laughs> So that was going very fast after uh, several bottles of wine and a uh, few kilos of, uh, of uh, Dutch cheese and everything was arranged uh, really in, in one week. So and that was uh, and that is how we start. And uh, um, from that moment on, when André uh, Schelling came back from Turkey, uh, we said, OK, what are we going to do? Let's, uh, let's start with this. And so uh, Mette um, and uh, André and me, we started up there in uh, uh, Pangea. We made the handshake at that time. Since then, uh, we start working uh, ups and downs, fights, success. But today I checked uh, and the total order value of single contracts reached uh, just about 360 ship set. I accept it as a really good success. I had really wonderful years with Pangea because this man opened all the doors. This man is a walking dictionary uh, in the shipyards. Everybody knows Met Özal because the family Özal is quite known in, in Turkey. Yeah? His grand grandfather was the best friend of Ataturk. Yeah? And his grandfather was the highest professor in the marine shipbuilding naval uh, uh, university. Year after year, I go minimum six, seven times uh, per year uh, to visiting Turkey uh, because all the shipyards again and again and again uh, knocking on the door. And yeah, it's getting better and better and better. So, and that is ending how we are now, uh, still uh, working together. And the formula did not change. The only thing that uh, changed, what is uh, our uh, um, good part, is that we have an uh, after sales department. Uh, created together with him. So our after sales manager Bogdan uh, Konstak is, uh, is uh, working very closely with them together. We have uh, Adrian uh, now beside uh, me together with uh, Matt uh, that he is also getting familiar on the shipyards to start to, start to continue uh, because when I stop uh, that uh, somebody take over the stick. Although I'm not uh, uh, coming close to the pension uh, uh, age and I'm not even thinking about it, Still, I have to think about how to keep the company uh, running because uh, the goal was to become the best uh, wind supplier in uh, the world. The goal is to keep increasing and keep up the good work while putting the MT name on more vessels, more yards. One of the colleagues in Pangea, which 
bring the, uh, the 10 years to my attention because, of course, as a man I forgot. Which is not an excuse, but I did. And um, she brings it to my attention. And she said, uh, this is for 10 years. 10 years uh, and she gave me also a very nice pencil, by the way, just this one. And um, she said, yeah, this is for uh, 10 years of achievement, eh? 10, year, 10 years of collaboration. Yeah, I said, that is true. But it's only 10 years of the 100 which you still uh, have to go. So uh, that is the way, uh, if you ask me for my wish, that is my wish, that we would uh, cooperate for minimum 100 years. And then I achieve my goal. That means that you don't build up a company just as long as I live, but also the years after. And that is the ultimate goal that everybody would like to have.